A non-governmental organization, Education Above All, is calling on the Nigerian government to quell the insurgency ravaging northern Nigeria and establish lasting peace to the region. The group made this appeal during a recent visit to Maiduguri, one of the areas most severely impacted by Boko Haram's activities. Details in this report. Education, above all, is dedicated in assisting the displaced individuals affected by the insurgency, providing support to help them reintegrate into society. As part of effort, the organization has been actively involved in facilitating the return of children to school. In our recent development, representatives from education, above all, paid a visit to the Burundi State Government House, where they were warmly welcomed by the Deputy Governor of the state, Omar Kandafo. You uh, equally just want to say uh, it's, uh, your coming to Bruno State is timely because of, uh, you know, we are in our recovery process. And I believe now every, you know, government that is sensitive about the education of children, especially the girl child, need uh, to have collaboration with, uh, you know, uh, organizations like yours. We have a lot of partners now who have been actively involved in uh, the recovery process of the state. For no state having been the epicenter of the insurgency, have been so devastated because of uh, the destructions that we have witnessed in the past decade. And uh, we are trying as much as possible to see how we can put up all the facilities that have been destroyed by the insurgency in the state. Seeing what you have done already, in the girl child uh, sector and also in the school enrollment process we've been partnering with unicef too they are doing well on that uh, i believe borno state government will be obliged to work hand in hand with you we'll give you all the support you needed as a host government to operate in borno state and inshallah we we'll appreciate all the effort that you have been doing to see that the girl child education it's something that we prioritize, especially at the period we are in now. Amina and Saidu, a victim of Boko Ram's brutality, share the terrifying experiences she had witnessed. It's very difficult for me uh, when the Boko Haram crisis happened in Goza. They attacked Goza, kidnapped my husband. I don't know up to now, I don't know where, he, where he's whereabouts. Uh, we flee for our life. We flee to Medjugorje. We came and settled in an LDP camp called Bakasi. After some time, we left the camp. And I don't know what to eat. Uh, my, so my small child has to uh, carry a truck, push water, uh, selling water. To feed me and my, uh, my, 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 my other children. I met a lady, Sa'a and Abdullahi. They works in uh, within uh, the community. They goes to my house, in my place. They say they needed children that have not been enrolled in school. Children that are not going to school. So that was how they registered my children. They took them to school, and they also gave me money, uh, about one hundred thousand, uh, one hundred and fifty. The representative of education, above all, from Kenya, conveyed the group's message enlightening the detrimental impact of insurgency on both the fiscal infrastructure and the overall peace and stability of a nation. Some of the students are in the most difficult to reach areas. Uh, apart from the usual barriers that we find children having, like uh, lack of access to a school, poverty, uh, geographical issues, in addition, in Nigeria, we have the conflict in the north, northern states. So m most of the work that we are doing currently with the street child is in the three states of Bono, Yobe, and Andamao. And this is where some of the highest number of conflicts have been reported and displacements because of armed, armed groups uh, attacking on children. So the motivation uh, for our partners is to reach these displaced people, children who have no other alternative. So education above all works with partners who are already on the ground and they understand the context. The effort that needs to be undertaken by everybody from the government, from the civil society, from communities, 
because uh, the, edu the attacks against education are everywhere. And as you say, uh, Qatar, through Education Above All Foundation, working with the UN, has been championing the protection against education attacks. And on the 9th of September, we have this international uh, day that we mark to protect education against attack. Uh, so the coalition, the global coalition for the protection of education against attack has reported in the last two years in Nigeria alone. Education above all's visit emphasizes the critical importance of peace in northern Nigeria. By joining forces, the government, NGOs and the international community can establish a more prosperous future for the children and all inhabitants of the area.